Hi, how you doing? It's Ken from the Monster Rock Band. I thought today, just for some fun, um, I would talk to you a little bit about Floyd Rose tremolos. Um, if you play in a rock band, usually a metal band, sometimes you'll use drop detuning. Um, so if you use a Floyd, which I do for the most part, um, you can easily drop down into a drop detuning with an EVH detuner or a tone vice pitch shifter. Uh, I've got both of my guitars. I thought just for fun I would tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about them, I guess. So we're going to start off with this one, this beautiful Schecter E1. And uh, as you can see on this one, I've got the EVH detuna on here. You can tell tail because you can see it's sticking out past your E string here, past the uh, cavity. Uh, what I don't prefer about these is that if you are an, are an advocate for pulling up on the whammy bar, then you're very limited as, as far as you can pull it because this is going to, that's actually going to collide with your guitar body. So you would have to probably route out a little bit of the area underneath the EVH detuna, which you probably don't want to do. Um, one of the other things that I don't care for on the detuna is that to, to fine tune it, when you get into drop detuning, it uses a small little Allen key, which is about the size of a pin. And um, once you get it set, it's great, but to have a little pin when you've got big gorilla mitts with banana fingers, the last thing you need to do is to be scrambling to look for a small little uh, Allen key that uh, you're going to be in a panic to try and get this thing fixed up. does work great, though. Um, easy to work. In for standard tuning, pull it out, and you're in drop D tuning. Works great. That's that one. Uh, and some of my other guitars now, I've been starting to use the Tone Vice Pitch Shifter, which I thought I'd try it out and see what I thought. So on this Jackson, you can see there's the Tone Vice right in the back. It already fits inside the existing Floyd Rose cavity, which is great. So if you do like to pull up on your bar, then you don't have to worry about any device hitting the body of the guitar. You don't have to worry about routing anything out. So it is pretty handy that way. Another thing that I really like about the Tone Vice is that in order to fine tune it, you just use the fine tuner itself on the Floyd. So if you're in a pinch and you got to restring or you got to reset something up at a show, then it's pretty easy to string up your guitar and then you just pitch your, your string, your E string to normal, you drop down into the detune it and then you don't have to be scrambling around to find an, another tool to fine tune it. Works great. It's as simple as you push with your thumb, it's in drop D, you push with your thumb back up, and it's back into standard tuning. Um, if I had to choose between the two, I would definitely go with the Tone Vice, just because I think it's a lot more user friendly. And um, it's nice and simple and compact, which I like, and it fits inside the existing Floyd cavity, which I think is a, is a huge bonus. Um, that's really about it. Uh, the only disadvantage to this, I think, is that when you live up in the Great White North like we do up here in Canada, they're a little bit harder to find. Um, I know that they're made in Texas. Um, I tried to get a hold of the company there. They don't ship directly from their plant down there. But if you go on to Reverb.com, you can, you can pick them up there and they'll ship them to Canada. Um, so I really do like these, but they're harder to get up here then the detune it's a lot more readily available. That being said, if you uh, are ever on our Monster Band um, website, www.monsterband.com, uh, make sure that you subscribe to our newsletter. And if you are gracious enough to, to subscribe to our band um, for some new periodic newsletters, we don't bomb everybody, but we are gracious enough to give you access to all our original material for free. You're gracious to us, we're gracious to you. And I hope you thought that this was informative. We're going to start doing a few more um, tutorials on some of the equipment we use and how we use it, and uh, hopefully it'll be helpful. So thanks very much.